Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning something called an inline function in C++. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, I have created a function called display, which is not going to return any values and it's going to take one parameter. And in this function, we're just printing out the value passed to this parameter and we are calling that function and passing a value of 10. So when we call a function, generally it causes certain overheads such as stack, arguments, jumps, etc, etc. And this is going to take some execution time. So when we call this function 10 times, you know, the parameters of this function and all these things will be stored in the stacks and you know, the control should be transferred from this main function to the display function. You know, all these things should be done. And this takes some execution time. So what we can do is if you are calling a very short function like the one which we have written here, then you guys can use a keyword called inline. So when we use this keyword inline with a function, the compiler is going to place the code of that function in the place when, where we call that function. So here I'm going to save this and run this. So you guys can see we got 10. What happens here is, you know, when this display function is encountered, there is a overhead of, you know, stacking the arguments or the jumps. Instead of placing the arguments in the stack and, you know, passing the control to this display function, what we can do is we can make the compiler to place this code, whatever the code which we have written in this display function to be placed here. The compiler is going to automatically do that. To do that, we're going to use the keyword inline. So when we use this inline, the compiler is going to automatically put the code in this place, you know, where we have called this function and there will not be any function calls. So this works as it was working before. So I'm going to save and run this. So you guys can see 10. What happens is this is equal to this one. So instead of calling the function, you know, the statements of that function will be placed here. Okay, the next thing is where we can use this inline keyword or when to use this inline keyword with the functions. So let's say that our display function here, which we have written is very large. If we use this inline keyword, what happens is the compiler is going to place the statements of that function in where we call our function. So if you, if you have called our function 10 times, then the compiler is going to place that code 10 times in our executable one. So that's why the size of the executable will increase. And also frequently using this inline keyword with large functions are, are not the convenient options because so when we talk about the ability to write good code, you know, the executable should be uh, of small size. That's why don't use this inline keyword with the large functions and only use it with the short functions so that, you know, there is no need of you know, any stacking the arguments or any function calls so that, uh, you know, your program's performance will be increased just a bit. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad. And if you guys have any doubt, don't hesitate to ask us and I'll see you in the next tutorial.